I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Los Angeles, California. Normally quite beautiful at this time of year. Not too hot yet. But today, we find a group of frauditors that makes it unbearable, and they get arrested. That's the best part of this video. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! I hope you guys enjoy the video. Give us that like real quick. We do come out, work our butts off every day. What's that? Why are you wearing all that gear? Just wearing... Uh, why you got all that shit off? Why you got all that shit off? Why hey, you got on stop. Why you got on Man, I wasn't Why expecting that in this area, of all places. Um, that gentleman, obviously, he's got some issues going on. I try really hard to avoid conflict with people who are clearly, you know, mentally ill. Um, not here to help them have a worse day. But almost getting attacked. We've only been here for three minutes. Uh, was in the middle of my intro. Well, Frauditor, maybe that should tell you something. What does that indicate to you? You're just standing around on the sidewalk and all oh, hell breaks loose. Right. I guess it'd be time to call it a day for me. Of course, I wouldn't be out there in the first place. Let's get to the part where the yahoos all walk into the Department of Motor Vehicles. Ten minutes later. I'm still trying to figure out how standing around at the Department of Motor Vehicles keeps government officials honest. You know, this is all about transparency, right? But you're recording the people who were there to get a driver's license or license plates and yeah, it's just a bunch of malarkey. Just for clicks and views, that's all it serves. My job is just to make sure we protect the information, uh, the information on the computers. No, no, no. But so when we I, when we do make it inside, I'm not. We don't intentionally film people's personal information. That's not what we're here perfect. for. We're not trying to film any you know transactions and stuff. While we could film whatever is accessible to whatever we can see, that's not our intention here today at all. Yeah. Okay. So we're and we've been nothing but cordial to everybody that's come out. Some people have asked questions already. We've been nothing but cordial with them. Um, the only kind of incident we had is he kind of walked up on our back a little bit, a little close to, you know, kind of, I guess. Walk around the building. You're, you're in a walkway, sir. No, no, I get that, but you had like eight feet to not walk right up on my shoulder, so right you, you can keep justifying it. Well, you looked yeah, over your shoulder. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I'm looking at you guys now, it's okay. I have no, no, I didn't say you didn't have the right. I respect you guys. I didn't say you didn't have the right. Okay. You, you've been cordial, you've been fine. I just, that's the only thing I didn't like was that part of it, but it, it, you know, it's fine. Yeah, so I just wanted to know if, you, if there's anything that I can help you guys with, if you needed any member to the media affairs. No, not at I all. I can redirect you there. We're not, we're not doing that kind of filming. Okay. Oh, yes, indeed. These are internet tough guys, except that they take out their aggression on people who've done nothing to them. I'd like to show you what I'm talking about, but YouTube will never approve of that. Matter of fact, they took down these Yahoo's videos that they posted about it. 
I'm surprised they didn't get a community guideline strike, or maybe they did. They probably got a warning, though. Moments later. It's a public photography and recording interactions that we have. I don't share that while, uh, while we're working, but... Yeah. It says to ask you any question. Yeah, no, and I've answered them. Now, if you really wanted to bring awareness to what you're doing, you would be transparent the same way you want the government to be transparent. But no, you always say, I can't share that while I'm working. Right, you want to be a pile of trash while you're working. Well, you're doing a fine job, Frauditor, I tell you. Fine job. I just don't answer that one. All right, next time somebody asks who I'm with, I'm going to say I'm with the American people. So, from... Wait, are we doing... You're on personal use. Yeah. I mean, it's just you know, like legally, I have the right to my own data to life. Like, not in public. No, it, it, that is not true. It depends, it depends what you're using it for. Right? No, no. So, no, no. You're using it for no, no. When you're out in public, you have zero expectation of privacy. I'm so aware, it falls. Okay. But it doesn't matter if I'm in public and you use me for your purposes. If it's, if for example, to make money. Okay, where's the thing that says. Pardon me, ma'am, but you're trying to argue with a pair of idiots. Matter of fact, this is a father and his son. Yeah, you're not going to win that argument. I tell you what, though, Frauditor, you're right. There's no privacy in public, and uh, you can do whatever you want in public. Keep in mind, you can get your ass kicked while you're out in public, too. Yeah, if you don't want your ass kicked, you should stay in your home. More moments later. Yeah. I, got some, I don't need permission. You don't need permission to shoot like you're doing? That is a public building. Yeah, but you've got a whole crew of uh, videotaping what? What do you do? Actually, you we're, I'm by myself. we're all by ourselves. We're not related. Well, who are y'all shooting for? Can you call them on the radio? For our own personal use. We also do the vlogs. I don't know why they do it. Don't tell me a lie. Everybody lies. So, that's the people with all the camera equipment. Here's a rhetorical question for you good people. Has a frauditor ever told the truth? Well, we all know the answer is no. Yeah, oh, we're not related, we're not together, right, that's the father and his kids. And here's the kid that has legitimate business. He's getting his driver's license renewed. You may recognize him from the post office video. He's the one that got pepper sprayed and show us his real face. Well, there he is again. been calling us names okay so you, you absolutely did our right to record in public, public okay. Okay. you're a bad representation of the branch you can call on us names you absolutely did and I got it on video I got it on video no, you've been fire starting the whole time we've been here and calling us names doesn't help now I ask you good people if you had yahoos dressed like this and you're trying to renew your driver's license with all that personal information floating around. What would you say to yay who's dressed like this? Oh, I know what I'd say. I just can't say it here. And you guys want us to be courteous, but you want to call us names? Did you tell her that you called us names? Okay. I got okay. this. You can go control the perimeter. I got this. Yeah, go do your job, sir. Dismissed. Is that your employee? Is that... No, okay. he's, uh, uh, he works for a different agency. He shouldn't be calling names to people then. So I apologize. Hey. 
apparently everybody that comes in here with a mask, including her, is a coward. So you have awesome. cus you have customers you have customers that wear, wear masks. Do you have yeah. a problem with the customers wearing a mask? I have no problem. Do you have a problem with her wearing a mask? I have no okay. problem with her wearing a mask. Then why should you ask about my mask and why should he call us cowards for wearing it? Sorry. Do you guys go after people that have religious reasons for wearing masks? No. Okay, he does. I don't know about you folks, but I don't consider that a mask. I consider that a disguise. Yeah, and it's not religious either, man. What uh Oh, there's no use in talking about it because these guys are off on another planet. You know, they're from Mars or maybe somewhere further out, huh? Well, maybe about uh, Uranus? Yeah, or is that Uranus? I don't know. You decide. Five minutes later. <laughs> um, from this angle, I got a little bit of a better... So. Be mindful, guys, when you're out in public, um, what it is you're working on, who you're texting, uh, what emails you're sending. Uh, it's all very important that uh, you are reminded. People say, oh, nobody needs to be reminded. That's not true. I guarantee one of these people watch this video and realize everything was on display. They're going to do good. So um, it was really good. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something, sonny boy. Only an unemployed moron like yourself would go out and try to capture people's personal information. Well, we're not here to capture personal information. We're just here to exercise our First Amendment freedom as journalists. We all know that's a bunch of BS. Ask me any question. Is that what his shirt says? Yeah, I'd like to ask you why your mama dropped you on your head so many times as a small child. Oh. There's our undercover agent right there. Lizard's over there renewing his license. Uh-oh. Hello. You can either leave or we can arrest you guys for trespassing. Can I get a higher up up here, Sergeant? Wait, what's, okay, hold on, what's going on? Before you get in trouble. You can either leave or you can be arrested for You know this is a public place, right? Okay, this is a so, private property. This is a public place. Okay, awesome put your hands back. If, if you're going to arrest us, right. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go ahead and leave. Well, you told me you said I could leave. All right. All right. Now, I like this cop. He's no nonsense. He came in and said, leave now or be arrested and trespassed. And they didn't want to leave. So look what we have here. Notice how the frauditors hang on to their cameras for dear life. You're going to have to put that other hand behind your back eventually, sonny boy. Wouldn't it made more sense to put the camera down to begin with? Oh, frauders, what are you gonna do with them? Hey, Lou, just taking some video. Okay. Oh, dang. Sorry. We can either leave or can arrest you guys for trespassing. Can I get a higher up up here, Sergeant? Okay, sure. We can also before you get in trouble. Leave or you can be arrested. You know, for this trespassing. is a public place, right? Okay, this is a so, private property. This is a public place. Okay, awesome. If, if you're gonna, if you're gonna arrest us, I'm gonna leave the team right now. I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Sorry, please. Yeah, back. Whoa. How embarrassing that must be, to be arrested in front of all those strangers, and they're looking at them, wondering what they did. Of course, they're all covered up. Nobody will ever recognize them. Yeah, something wrong with this father. He's failed his sons. You're supposed to teach them how to be productive members of society, not bloody yahoos. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. You don't have to go so tight, sir. I'm not, I'm You're not, not trying to get away from you. Okay, the supervisor did give us permission. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can just leave, sir. Okay. Can I just get asked? Okay. Dang. Dang. Are saying this about you? Hey, why are you doing it like that, sir? You can calm down. I'm not trying to get out. Sir, this one yeah, yeah, from, is I'm not trying to get out, sir. Gotcha, gotcha. What's wrong with you? All right, so I'm gonna, you don't I'm gonna need change. to go that tight. Gotcha, so I'm, I'm going to change my position. Okay, okay so change your this. position so you're not squeezing me, dude. Come on. Is that better? It's a little bit better, yeah. I didn't oh. trust anybody. I'm not trying to get away, sir. You don't need to hold me like that. Alex. I no, got you, got you, got you. But like I said, once the Cameron. handcuffs come out, some people tend to tense up and then go away. Yeah, no, I understand. Sonny boy here must have some experience with handcuffs. He says they don't have to be that tight. 
Well, how would you know how tight they have to be unless you had some on before? And look at Daddy being led away in the background. What a joyous day for this family outing. But I'm not trying to so do that. Do you mind putting your camera down? Because I need to get your other hand. I don't want to drop. I don't want to drop. You're good. You're good. Thank you, officer. It's fine. Look at it. Keep going. Let's keep going. Enjoy the next couple. Can you also just do this? Uh, I'm not with them, I know them though. Can you just I'm gonna do shit for me. Alex, you can go that one too. Thank you, sir. Jesus Christ. Can you follow me? Predators always talk about the walk of shame, but they don't really know what it's all about until they're handcuffed and led out of a building like this right here. That's the true walk of shame, Predator. Handcuffed behind your back, being led out of the building like a common thug. Well, he is a common thug, isn't he? So that's about all there is to see in this video. Now they've requested a lieutenant to come out and talk to, and it takes the lieutenant at least 30 minutes to come out there, and eventually these yahoos are uncuffed and released. I don't know if they received a ticket, but the video carries on for well over an hour, closer to an hour and 20 minutes, I think. And uh, are they learning anything? No. And the answer would be no, because they had video taken down by YouTube for, uh, oh, it was terrible. I'm not even going to talk about it. And then they, uh, they got into two separate fights besides that video that was taken down. And now they're in handcuffs. So are they learning? Absolutely not, because their father's a moron. Let's carry on with the Dr. Dave double play, though. Roll that clip. Denver Metro Audits, aka the Mile High Auditor. Today we're at Bernalillo County Public Safety Center. And I'm here, of course, with ANCAP Copwatch over here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And right up there we got uh, For the Record. Of course, we've got our root beers here. You can't do anything with uh, For the Record without your root beer. Yeah, that idiot For the Record always carries around a brown paper bag with a bottle of root beer in it. Of course, the police are going to ask him what's in the bag, and he always says, none of your business. It's beer. Yeah, it's root beer. But that's how he's trying to incite a confrontation. And uh, that's uh, a real idiot for you. But let's carry on. A few minutes later. Interesting. Uh, so sometimes. Like Baron AK style. <laughs> I've had a lot of uh, two. We got two and six we're allowed to go to, he said. The rest is like all key card access or something. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I don't know what it says. But I bet you if you push three, it probably would like make you push <laughs> yeah, your card yeah, on yeah. there. Yeah, it, it, it allows for that. Um, so we got the community custody program. Video surveillance. So they are recording, guys. Let's go check it out over here, see what's going on. Now these three yahoos are in an area where prisoners are processed. Now, they're not prisoners and they're going to claim that the police officer downstairs allowed them to come up and there's no signage restricting them. Well, that's going to work for about 15 minutes and then the uh, police are going to show up and kick them out. The 
Okay, so we got, uh, looks like a silver line over there. I don't know what that is, but. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Good. We came in over here. There's no one over there, so. Oh, I apologize. Are you the one that's uh, that's helping folks over here? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Help you guys. Oh, so, well, I was just actually on my way from here, just kind of doing like a little tour of your of your city here, now Turkey. Okay. So, I was just wondering, um, what is we're doing a story here? So, what's the what is it says program services? What kind of services do you provide over uh, here? This is the community custody program. So this is a part of MDC. So I'm not too sure if they would allow you to film in here oh really um, yeah let me grab my sergeant and we'll okay. see because yeah, we didn't okay. we didn't see any signs or anything like that and it was like open yeah this is considered so. oh, a jail so really? oh it's a jail yes, yes. right because yeah. we just kind of walked right in here like this door is open there's no signage or anything like that yeah no that's fine if you guys don't mind just waiting right out here i'll grab a sergeant and okay. we'll just it wouldn't matter what kind of sign was posted anyway they claim it's unconstitutional it doesn't uh, trump the first amendment we don't know how these frauditors operate. They don't care about signs. They only care about clicks and views on the YouTube channels. Moments later. Hey, what's going on? We were just looking around and seeing uh, who does what. And no, you guys what's can't be in here. Jobs? You guys can't be in here recording. Uh, what's your name? Sergeant Winslow. Winslow, you got a business card we can take? What? You got a business card? No. You don't have business no. cards? No. Okay. Well, um, I mean, why can't we record in here? Is this is a secure facility, sir. Secure? Well, it's not very secure. We just got in the. I mean, we can go talk. We already went to security. Okay, we can. Yeah, they let us come in. Okay. First, you have what is this? Alcohol. Alcohol. So, okay. You guys need to alcohol. Let me think. Alcohol. It's alcohol. Yes. Please, thank you. Well, sir, we, we already can, went through we, security. We oh. talked to the deputy down there. Okay. So, so why are you getting so there, close to me? There's three different floors. If you can go why are you getting so close to me like that? This, way, please, sir. this is open to the public, sir. We came Actually, into the elevator. The public, we walked sir. right in. That's public. There's, there's no sign. That's show me, public. Public. Show me the sign. That's a community custody unit. Okay, well, we were told by the deputy downstairs that we can come up here. It's open to the public. I don't know about everyone else, but I sleep so much better at night knowing that people like little Chrissy are out there fighting for my rights to film in public places. So if I ever get the urge one day, I could pull out my cell phone and record knowing that I'm able to do so. Why I would want to do that, I have no idea. But it's good to know that I have that right. Where's the sign? Show me the sign. It doesn't say anyone. That's fine. It says ring doors. It says ring doorbell for service. Yeah, it doesn't say not restricted. It's a public lobby. There's chairs here. I mean, there's chairs here, man. Okay. I'll just step out here. I'm not stepping we're out anymore, man. What law, law is it? What law is it that I can't be in this public lobby we'll right here? Up. It's open we to the need public. We get authorization through our chief to come into this building. We got authorization. You didn't get authorization we, we through our chief. Downstairs. Through my chief. They authorized. If you get authorization so, so through my chief. the cameras? What is it that? Because we can if come in. If you get here. authorization through through the chief, then you can come in here. But for right now, could you please step out here? It's in the lobby, please. Well, you know, if somebody comes in here, they can go through security, they can come up the elevator okay. just like we did, I came and they can walk right in here. I checked, I have? put in my stuff, I you have went through the like search and everything. No. Why do I have to go out there? I've been through the process to Call, be uh, able to be up here. Please. Hey, you guys better get someone else over here, man. This is crazy. This is open. To, look, this is a public lobby here. There's chairs. These frauditors make me laugh, I tell you. Anytime they see a group of chairs, it's automatically deemed a lobby. Well, it is a lobby. It's for prisoners. Yeah, on their way to jail, they come here. Do you want to sit in that lobby, Chrissy? Keep it up. You got alcohol, sir. Please step out. Are you, you making false accusations? Okay, take the bottle off. That's, I got take, the fourth, ball, take the bottle off. I got a Fourth Amendment right to be off. secure in my take person. Take the bottle off. Bed. Bed. And so it's none of your out. business so please step what out. I got. Yeah, you're not drinks, right? You're not drinks. It doesn't say no, no food or drinks. Please. There's no alcohol in this building, please. Well, well you're making an assumption that it's alcohol. Please step out. You're making an assumption that it's alcohol. Please step out. Give me information on the call. Don't you think the guy downstairs would already check that? Don't you think he'd be... You know that? Step out of the Bill. Look, man, hey, you need to stop being like a parrot, bro. We're not going to step out, man. Okay, we have a lawful right to be here. We know what we're doing. 
Okay, yeah, this is a public lobby, lobby sir. You swore an oath to the Constitution, right? So what is your reason for being here? Well, Please. first of all, my reason, what is your reason why for don't being you here? calm down and de-escalate? Why are you hollering? What is your reason for being here? What is your reason for being here? I do apologize, sir, but these three yahoos can't find regular jobs because they all have criminal records, and I don't think they could fill out the application even if they didn't have a criminal record. So they've been forced to fraud it. That's right, sir. They're frauditors. The only way they can make money is by getting you to have a negative reaction, which they then upload to YouTube and get paid handsomely through advertisement dollars. It's a real scheme, isn't it, sir? Why what do you need? Hollering? Stop hollering. What do you need? What I need right now is what do you calm need? down, de-escalate, what do you need? stop hollering, and act professional. What do you need? That's what I need. What do you need? What do you need here? Well, I, I didn't actually even need What you. do you need here? I, never, I didn't ask you to come over here. We just what do you here. need here? Are you going to let me talk or are you going to keep interrupting me? What do you need here? I'm about to tell you, but are you going to... Are you a me? client of the, the community custody program? That's none of your business. I'm are a you a I'm client of the here. public. I'm a member of the public is what I... You're mean. not. So all are you, you want to do is come up here... Stop and cause problems. Down. I, you're the one causing a problem. You're, came you're the here, one that's causing problems. Because I asked you to step out into the lobby yeah, here. You can ask me anything, man. I'll ask you to take your shoes off, bro. You don't have to. I don't have to listen to you. you but you want to come in here you and you want to make a fool of yourself. Me. You're the oh, one you acting foolish, bro. Coming in here Chill with out. bottles and recording everything. When I ask, I simply ask you to step out into the lobby. Yeah, you can ask me, man. All you want to do is confrontation. For be what? up here being stupid. To be? For what? Well, if that's what you think, if you think this is just a confrontation, then why don't you just go back to your office and get back to work and leave us alone? So Little Chrissy hasn't had too many smackdowns, although he did get one from this woman with her back to the camera. Yeah, he put that video up and YouTube took it down. Good thing I have the original, huh, Little Chrissy? Boy, she smacked the you-know-what out of him. He needs that again today. He needs a good smack across the chops. This is my office. Yeah, did so you work right here out. in the lobby? This if you want to record, you can, re you can feel free to record outside here. Yeah, I'm going to record right here too, you man. You come outside here, here, here to, and record to, uh, out. You call as well? To check Thank out the, the, what the uh, Sheriff's Department has to offer the citizens that are coming in here for these services. And we have a right oh to be have this transparent and, and see what's going on, see what they have to offer here, and what you guys, how you guys act. I hope you guys don't act this way with the people that come in here. You know, you guys swore an oath to the Constitution, right? You know, the five okay, freedoms well, guaranteed off, by the not, First Amendment. We're not the sheriff's department, okay. And if you want information on CCP, I'd be more than happy to answer. Well, that's kind of what we came in here for. We were trying to talk to that that's lady, and then she said, well, you guys can't be here. She came and got you guys. And then we got this guy, Will Winslow, over here, well, acting, me, yelling at us here, and everything and we else. Did. Okay. What we're questions do you have, sir? We went from there for you. came in here. But this is clearly a public lobby, sir. We came off the yeah. elevator. There's no restricted access. There's no signs. Has anyone ever watched Little Chrissy's religious channel? He talks about numbers. 111, 222, 333. He's out of his bloody mind, he really is. But remember, crazy people don't know they're crazy. And right now he thinks he's in a public lobby. He doesn't realize where he's at. Of course he is out of town. He's relying on those other two yahoos. They're about dumb as rocks too, though. Actually, There's no key card access. Well, like, you we, can let we me can talk now. Here. Actually, this isn't a public lobby. This is where inmates come in, so they do have their right to be... Well, then why would you have the door wide open like this with no signs? Why signage? are you up here? Huh? Because normally they don't let people up here just to let people up here. They have to be identified well, as... Normally, it doesn't matter. Normally, man. Like, normally. we wanted to come up here to do a story on the building. Yeah. That's all. Yes. Okay. So, and then, so and which questions do you have about CCP? I'll well, you know what? We, we originally were going to ask some questions, but, you know, since you guys are coming up trying to intimidate us, you, we don't need your help no more. We're just going to take our pictures here. You guys are dismissed. Cool. You can get back to work, man. Okay, thank you. Well, okay. you so we're going to hang out here until you guys leave, and then when we're ready, we're going to leave. Okay. But, well, but we promised you're going to leave before we do. So. Okay, gotcha. You know, if you guys would have just been cool. Are you guys with BCSO or? Nope. No. Okay. ETA on that 82. So you guys are, so you guys are just senior uh, county employees there? County employees. Okay. So this man on the left is communicating with the front desk and the sheriffs have been called. Now the sheriffs are the ones that have the authority and they will kick out little Chrissy and his two little buddies. They're not going to go quietly though. And then, well, I'm not going to tell you the whole story. Let's carry on. Ten minutes later. <laughs>
Hello guys, how's it going? Oh, well, look here, we got more guys hey, back. come on, I'm gonna talk to you out here. There you go. I'm, I'm Sergeant Al with the Sheriff's Department. Okay. So I'm just letting you guys know, I know you're recording me, that's fine. Yep. But this is a controlled access building, and unless you have an appointment here, you can't just stay here and record things. So I'm gonna ask you all that you need to leave. Um, this is your lawful order, okay? You have to leave. You have no official business here. I do have you official do a, business You here. do not have an appointment with CCP. I don't have to you have don't an appointment. You don't have to have an appointment with pretrial. You have to have an appointment. I'm just telling you what it is. The deputy downstairs told us that we could come up here to floor two and six. Those are the if open to the public. you an appointment. He doesn't have but, an itinerary. But I have, I have business. I have legitimate you do, business. You do, not, you do you have an appointment with CCP? I don't have to have an appointment with CCP to have, to have, to have okay. legitimate business. So here's here. what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to hear. I'm going to tell you, gentlemen. Okay. I'm giving you one warning. If you choose not to leave, there is a criminal state statute you will violate, and I will take all three of you to jail. Well, that seems fairly clear to me. If you don't leave, you'll be taken to jail. Of course, it's not little Chrissy's first go around with being arrested. How many times you been arrested, Puddin' Pie? How many times? Oh, I bet your mama's so proud of you, isn't she? So, I'm giving your one warning on the record now that if you do not leave this building, like I've asked you to, all three of you will be booked What will be the charge? Under threat of arrest. 30. 30 the we'll charge? 20 13. 30, 20, 13. It's a criminal statute to interfere with a public building or a private building that's owned by the government. But are we interfering by simply taking pictures in here? You are, because you're up here recording. This is a private building. Recording. You have no business here, Smith so you're interrupting. Smith first coming, sir. Smith first coming. You, I, my constitutionally protected activity. So what's activity? the decision going to be? I'm giving you guys the fair okay, Can I get your business card? You need, you need to leave. Can I get your business card? Okay. Well, then I need you to So what happens leave. if we go to jail? I do not have a business card, but I told you my name is Sergeant Allen. Alan, what's your badge Sergeant number? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go. What's your badge number? Say, uh, S11. S11. Yeah, so S11. what will happen? So what happens if we go to jail? Then do we get like do you have to bond out or do we just get a PR bond right away or what? Has so we'll have to see a judge and they'll have to determine everything. I'm not so the judge, so I don't. We'll be stuck that. here until that we see the judge. You said? Not in this building. But okay. Hey guys, so this is one of the rare occasions in which I leave under threat of arrest. Oh, yes, indeed. It's one of the rare occasions he leaves because he's in town for a funeral and he doesn't want to get arrested and upset his family because he's in jail. What a bunch of bloody malarkey. If you're going to be a fraud in your man, step up to the plate and take that arrest, sweetheart. Now they're going to try to go downstairs and talk to the officer in charge. It's not going to work out so well. Roll that clip. A few minutes later. This side, gentlemen. We're going to talk to this guy over here. No, there is exit no is this direction. Yeah, but we want to talk to we want to talk to the, the deputy this over is here. The exit. Exit's that way. Exit's that way. Over here. Jeez, I don't but it's going to be a quick one. Dude. You cannot block the lobby. You cannot. We're not even interfering with anything. Yes, you you guys are interfering with us. I understand you guys are trying to bait people in the civil rights rally. We're not trying to bait anyone, yes, man. You are. This is we're a public area. Technically, we are baiting them because of the root beer. I just said we're not baiting them because I get consistently accused of baiting police officers simply for taking pictures, and that's not true. So this is the first time I've actually baited a police officer, and I'll own it, because just like Jim Freedom said, a good police officer can't be baited. So this is still an employee conduct check regardless of the root beer, and they all failed miserably. So what do you think about that, good people? Kicked out, and he doesn't want to take the arrest. What kind of man are you? Oh, that's right, Chrissy's not a man. I sure hope he goes to jail after his appeal's over. Man, we need to see him put in jail for a while. At least a couple of weeks, if not longer. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Really, no reason I'm really, I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm going to arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform. I pay for that car. I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me. 
Oh, you assaulted me. I did. Sue me. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Take a swing. Take a swing. You'll go to jail, bro. Go ahead. Put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Salami hala handula. Alu hatbar. Haknuika na kra. Ula wala fufatai. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So, if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm going to do You hit me. Okay. okay now you now take my picture. Me. Me. I don't know you. I said I broke your shoulder. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. I have been putting in job applications, and it's, I, I don't know any job where you walk up to it, fill out the application, and they hire you right on the spot. $60, guys is what we're trying to raise so if you can help out contribute towards it feel free to donate guys i won't ever ask for money on this channel again hey what's up guys so we're here at the america's best value um we're trying to get a room i'm asking for help please guys i need y'all's help we're a little low on funds guys uh, so i want to make a quick video if there's any way you guys can help out, uh, we're trying to get a room. Uh, I will never beg you for it. I won't beg nobody for nothing. Donate to the PayPal if you can help out. If you can't, I understand. PayPal link below. So if any of you would like to send me some money to help me out, I could greatly use it. But I'm not begging you for it. <laughs>